I have the footings done, which is basically the floor and a foundation in. It's about it's 4.1 meters by 3 meters. Um, I've just squared off the building there. I'm sure you can Google how to square a building with the lines. If you can see the lines here, basically you put two sets of lines in parallel same distance apart and then you check the diagonal of course and if the two diagonals are the same you know you have a square building meters. I'm just finishing off the plinths for my pillars here. Um, there's eight pillars so obviously eight plinths. Um, I just mix everything in the wheelbarrow. It's handy. A bit of liquid soap through it makes it very usable. Um, see. Um, it's um, 300 millimeters, one foot external diameter. I've put a couple of lines on it. So this is just a prototype to see what it looks like. I've put a couple of lines on it there. Can you see those lines? Just put them on with a grinding, with a with a grinder. Just give the impression of a column. Um, and that's where I'm at at the moment. I need plenty of work still to do, but it's coming on well. These are the mouldings. We've done some mouldings yesterday. Um, these are the lion's head. The lion's head. It's um, basically just some concrete into a um, false face. So that's the false face. It's the, the lion's head. It's the lion's head for the plinths. Um, not sure how many of these I'll put on yet. But uh, as I say, a false face filled with concrete. Some Vaseline on the inside just to prevent it from. And this here will come out. Yep. Uh, there's our lion's head, which we can paint with we'll paint as a different colour to the rest of the thing to make it stand out. Um, and we, have, we can reuse that again. Um, there we go. There's three there. We need at least two. Here we have the mouldings. What I just made out of a dish, um, a dish, a sink dish. And what, what, what we've moulded here is the um, concrete plinth for the bottom of the pipe. Um, simple, you know, there we are, so it's filled with concrete, a plastic bag on the inside, and there we go, now, to get this the exact right size, I need something that was 12 inches, and here we are, a plate, a dinner plate, and um, again, as I say, that's one I done earlier on, and that'll be for the bottom of the pillar. Yeah, me sand there from Campbell's. These slabs here, I got them from Garrity's Concrete and Cullen. And what else is going on? I have my dishes or bowls from um, Dunn Stores that I'm casting the plinths for the, um, the columns. Remember, the columns sit into those there. Uh, we have our lion head. Our lion head um, castings as well. That's the um, that's the job at the top of the garden. But we also have, of course, our pipes, our cut pipes. One, sorry, um, one meter long. 
by with an outer diameter of 300 millimeters. Now, as you can see, two of the columns, two of the eight columns, are to the top, and um, I have two partially done, and I just need to cap them off now. Um, the concrete pipes are very heavy, so I've had to lift them up onto a scaffolding, and I'll just sit them on top then. Um, up the centre of each um, column, of course, I have to put steel. So I'm filling the columns, oh, sorry, I put, I put steel into the columns, and then um, put a bit of, I put some um, steel down the centre. Now I'll be putting more steel into that when I put the capping on so that the steel overlaps and the concrete overlaps. Part of the pipes are not full. It's only where the um, it's only where the uh, joints are. I'm overlapping with concrete. The steel goes all the way from the top to the bottom. The steel is actually goes straight down into the pillar at the very bottom and is anchored at the bottom. Now a couple of weeks into the job and it's moving along nicely. I just want to look closer at the, um, you'll see here, the, um, on the bottom we have a collar that we um, formed in the bowls. Then we have a cut pipe and inside we have the steel going down the centre and that's going all the way down to the foundation. Um, as I add the pipes on, I'll put another bit of steel in here to overlap. That's it. I used some flower pots to make the um, cappings for the top of the back four columns. Um, Basically the flower pot shape, the moulding on the flower pot gives us this nice moulding here. And that's the moulding that'll go on the back four columns. The front columns have a slightly different um, slightly different capping. You can see them here. All moulded out of uh, flower pots. plaster has been in and put a scratch coat on the columns and um, I've put on the lion's heads. These lion's heads, remember we made them from false faces. Um, now the plaster will come in and he will plaster around those um, and they should look well. These are the casings I've made for the top of the columns. They're made out of sterling board and um, they basically basically uh, put them on the top of the columns, pour in concrete and um, let the concrete set. Now I've put on the inside wallpaper so the inside of the casing has been wallpapered and that pattern of the wallpaper should transfer onto the onto the concrete. These wires here you see running across and um, I'll, title, title, I'll tighten those up before I put the concrete in and those will prevent the concrete from spreading. We'll also put some reinforcement in there. Um, you, again you can see the pattern, I put a nice pattern here on the edge um, and again the concrete will pick up that pattern. Now I have the casing up and it just, it's just waiting to be filled with concrete. Very important here that we have lots of props in to support the weight because when we put the concrete in here there's going to be a lot of pressure on the timbers. Um, put some steel into it. Okay so here's the steel. Put three bars in 
and well tied with wires. The wires of course will stop the two sides spreading out these wires here. Um, you can see just drilled each side on a wire and then tied tied on the outside here. That's it. So that'll stop the spreading. The blocks each side just hold the um, the steel uh, off the base. That's it. Now, just stripping off the last bits of the shuttering here. Um, you can see the impression that's been left by the embossed paper. So it's torn out pretty good. Um, although the um, the paper that I stuck to the underneath as I to prevent the um, to to give the embossed look actually stuck to the stuck to the um, concrete, which wasn't part of the plan because I put varnish on it, and the yellow coating has also come on to the concrete. So I'm going to have to clean that off. Now I've slabbed the um, the base, and um, I'm just going to point those slabs now this morning. I've also put up a couple of eagles on the top um, and uh, I've decided to I decided to use big slabs there, the same slabs that I had put on the top of the plint um, and I'm going to put the same slabs two rows, uh, four foot out, two rows deep all the way around and obviously finish off the grass here. We need to get some grass seed down. We're in September.